Hi guys and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play series for Forza Motorsport 5. So in the previous video that I put up I was racing in the 2003 BMW M5 which is on the screen now. I was racing in the Executive Sport series, I've got one race to do which is at Spa and we're headed there now. So I think this may open up some bonus races and I'm torn between doing once again to Belgium for another event at the Circuit de Spa Francorchamps, home of the Belgian Grand Prix. <laughs> we'll just let the announcer finish here. I'm torn between doing one of those or going straight to a different type of series. I thought potentially going to some of the older type cars or maybe to some of the smaller ones to try them, such as the, the Mini, the Fiat 500, that sort of thing. But we'll do this race and see how we go on. I've been enjoying using the BMW M5. It takes a little while to get used to the weight and power of the thing, but once you can actually get it under control, it's very nice to drive with. So I'll let you have a quick look at the assists I'm using. I think they're the same as last time. And we shall start the race. Now I have to say that my drive atars have been a bit aggressive to say the least. Um, I know a few of them and this is a true reflection in how they actually race, so so I'm not um, complaining in that respect, but um, they can be quite aggressive and cause sheer chaos. I try to avoid car contact as much as possible, but um, I've had some real aggressive tactics on me, a little bit of it going on there. And if you watched any of my other videos in Forza, you'll know I'm not a fan of the rewind button, so... Aggressive drive guitars and not using rewinds is probably not a good combination for success, but... Uh, we'll see what we do. If something utterly terrible and unfair goes on with the drive guitars, that would be the only time I'd consider using rewind, but... Thus far I've avoided it, so... I think one of my other videos I accidentally pressed it once in an attempt to look behind when I was in first place, but uh, I think that's because in some other driving game I played a long time ago, it could have been Project Gotham Racing or whatever, I think Y was look behind, so... Quite hard to get past these cars um, in this track, I have to see some of the tighter bits of road. The thing I don't like about these cars is um, coming up to this size and power a car from the Mazda MX-5 I had, it's so easy to get nudged and your car just goes completely off the road so easily making it very hard to recover in the middle of a race. Oh dear, I've lost control of it here. Try and get back on as quick as possible. Regain my position. This car's just nudging me off at the left here. It's quite vicious that one. Yeah. I've got a new badge there for wash and wear I think it's it. Quite hard to see actually now from this crop on the screen. I could change the view, but at the moment it seems not too bad. Whoa, what is that? It just came off that car. Is that a front bumper or something? That was just typical drive guitar behaviour if I ever saw it. I 
Let's change the view a little bit because of that crap one screen. But I'll go to this one, let's have a look at the car. You can hear its noise a bit better as well. It sounds fantastic, the BMW though. Noise as it changes down the gears is great. So I'm not a fan of driving in this view now. Um, use another, it's the standard driver's view. I do like the noise though. Really hear that engine and the exhaust. The noise sounds so good, you just want to accelerate. It's not a good thing all the time, especially coming into a corner. Oh, it's getting a bit slidey. Lost a bit of ground there. that bit of bumper snow there. Not to go a bit too wide so it looks like a neat position finish unfortunately but not what I wanted but it is what it is. We didn't use rewind so I'm we'll have to take the spot. My car's not looking too happy either. But at least it's still got its bumper on, like whoever that drive car was. There's also been a patch recently which has give you a few more credits um, for races and altered car prices and that, I think, a little bit. Um, it certainly altered the amount of credits you get. So. Right, let's see what's available to do now. Right, so we do have some bonus races left to do in that one. Um, see what they are. So we've got the various things on each one. Um, right, let's do a let's do this chase okay, event. We head back to the Peach State, Georgia for another event at Road Atlanta. Let's head out to Atlanta. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing done. We need to overtake a few of these cars and get up in the first spot. Alright, there's a few nice corners here, but you need to be quite careful. Um, a blind hill and if you go too quick it's very easy to go off the track here. And the 
push too much for a start, just take my time and get past these and other stuff ahead, hopefully. Oh, that car's uh, visited the grass and has almost took me with it. In fact, it has. I like that last corner there, just at the end of the track. Right, it's quite a short track this one, but... Uh, <laughs> it's just the first time I've actually noticed seeing the driver's head in the car in front of me. been too busy racing to notice these little details before. You've got to watch out for um, erratic braking with the drive cars as well, you can be can suddenly just some of them break um, where they don't really need to and I'm guessing that's an accurate reflection on the actual driver that um, previous lap there where I got off the track I was wanting to go left I thought the track bent off to the left for some reason I don't think I've raced on this one too much take a little while to remember all the tracks actually Although it's um, a common complaint that there's only 14 in this version of Forza. Previous games had a lot more, I believe. Whoa, just kept under control. And we did it, first place. I don't think racing drive cars I'm ever going to get around with a totally clean car, I don't think. Okay, 3,187. Right. Let's have a look at what else is available to us. Sport Compact, what have we got in there? Yeah, this is where I want to go, so I'm torn between the early hot hatch and Super Mini. Let's do Super Mini. There are those among us who believe that small is better. That little something with the bulk engineered out of it must necessarily be more highly evolved. Phones, gadgets, television presenters. When it comes to cars, it should be relatively simple. Small cars have space only for small engines. And small engines, as we all know, means small power. However, small can also mean nimble. There is simply less of the car to change direction, so it can do so more quickly. Mm, quite like the look of the bar. Yourself, with some small cars with enough power to make them a lot more than merely entertaining. The Fiesta ST is one of the very best, as befits a car that's competed on the World Rally Championship. As of course has the Citroen. I think DS3. I was actually gifted the, the ST. Like the Fiat Abarth 500 SS clearly feels the need to tell the world that with some frankly silly graphics. What is it that makes all things small need to overcompensate with an unnecessarily showy appearance? Well, good question James made, but I don't know the answer. Okay, so I've already got the ST, and my one hasn't been upgraded, so I need to pay some money to do that. So I've got a choice of that, or um, going for the Fiat Abarth. Um... Handling six point sorry, handling four point nine. Um there's various pluses and minuses between the two of them actually. I think what I'll do actually is 
No, I tell you what, I'm going to go with the Abarth. I've made my mind up. Let's go. Purchase. And I'll just go to colours because I don't want... In fact, that looks rather nice and white, I think. Um, and that nice stripe along it as well. I think we'll stick with that. We'll... Um, Right, we'll stick with that. Quite tempted by black wheels on it though. Or should we leave them as is? Let's have a look once it's saved. This is your 2010 Abarth 500 SS. Hmm, I think it would look nice with black wheels. Right, can I quickly change its wheels somehow? In the paint shop, you can paint and create designs specifically for your car. You can also create designs for any car and share those designs with the community. Alright, I'm just going to paint it. I'm not actually going to swap the wheels. So we can have them black. Or we could go carbon. I think um, I think we'll just go black. Actually, I can back out a screen too far. Let's just go black. Yeah, that will do. Fly the car and save. There we go, that's a nice looking small car. And we'll use the, there's the ST I got, so the, it's only got 372 points as opposed to 500 for the Abarth. So we'll use it. And we're going to Indianapolis. Today, we head to another event at the historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway, home to some of the world's biggest auto races for over a hundred years. Okay, so here we are in this rather nice looking a bar and, uh, and we're off I think I missed the gear change there hear a noise every time it changes uh, gear now I would think this thing would be quite good in the corners but uh, time will tell Very small and nimble, but mm, seems not bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nasty. So if you push it, it will slide. Right, that's cost me a bit of ground. Really need to, to make that up as quick as possible. I think that's the great bit about the game, you just jump into another car. Oh, it just drifts out sideways, that car, yeah? You just sort of won't turn in if you're going... You've got quite a lot of um, understeer. Right, we've caught up with the tail end cars again. Brakes are not as sharp as they were on my um, BMW. Quite a lot of fun to drive though.
Oh, coins going everywhere. Let's see if I still have that guy in front or I'll take him on the outside. Whoa! What on earth was that? That was incredible. That car was up on its front wheels. I have not seen that in this game before. That was amazing. Being a little bit too aggressive towards that ST, but I'm desperate to get past. I'm getting the inside of this one. Oh, I just feel a car wanting to drift out a little bit. Position 3 after that rather chaotic start isn't too bad I suppose. I think both cars here, yeah, they're both just ahead of me. So, And uh, one of them is causing quite a lot of dust and smoke. I think it's the same car as I'm driving. I really love this thing and more and more I'm racing with it. It's just so much fun. <laughs> Cut across in front there, again his position. And I get past him here. Just but I've went too fast doing it. Oh quite a battle going on. I'm really pushing, I really want to finish first. position of the cut the corner. Oh he's he's messed up. He gonna get past him. I've done it, I've done it. That was a bit lucky but well I guess I made a few mistakes as well so I'm sure the driver cars were due one. Plain sailing. Race complete. Well, that was an interesting experience. I think I'm really going to enjoy um, racing this car. It's quite a lot of fun, that thing. I, I'm, in one hand, I'm tempted to see what it would do if it was upgraded, but on the other, I thought it was a lot of fun just the way it was, so I don't really want to tamper with it. So I think the first race was position 8 and then we raced again with the BMW, got a first and we've got a first we were first outing with the Abarth, so not too bad. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'll be doing plenty more races in Forza and I'll have another video up soon, thanks for watching.